Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to this week's episode of the Webinars Day series. Today, we are going to learn about a handy dev tool option for throttling the network. As developers, we tend to come across a situation where the application UI with an API call works perfectly fine, but after the app goes live, a bug is reported by a user. It could be for various reasons, but one of them you will find out the hard way is to do with the network speed. The user might be viewing your website from their mobile phone, which could be on a 3G or slower network or even just offline. When we are building an application, we are probably working with the best network available to us. And of course, the same when trying to debug as well. To help with such a scenario, Chrome provides an option to throttle the network. To demo its usage, I have a Svelte app which loads data from an endpoint. Without any throttling, you can see that the API call to slash posts takes 26 milliseconds. But if I change no throttling to slow 3G and refresh, you can see that it takes more than two seconds. Believe me, I've come across bugs in the apps I've written simply because the user was on a slower network. So whenever you're working with UI and an API where the time to fulfill the request somehow affects the code you've written, Make sure to test that page on a slower network and when you come across a bug that might seem like it has to do with network speed, throttle your speed and give it a try. You might easily find out what the bug is. Of course, you can also add custom throttling speeds to test out various scenarios. But this is pretty much about network throttling in Chrome, a very handy tool to have in your pocket. I hope it is something you can use as part of your app development and debugging in the future.